The Honduran government has announced budget cuts for two of the principal public hospitals in the country, as well as $35 million for reduction for the next year of the National Health System's general budget. Here's our Central America correspondent, Gerardo Torres. Doctors, nurses, patients and health students in Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula went out on the streets to protest against the government's decision to cut $35 million from the next year's general health system budget. Imagine that with the current budget we will already have a crisis. A reduction of the budget will bring a bigger crisis. Now patients have to buy everything they need for their medical attention. With these cuts they are assuring a catastrophe for the Honduran people. Honduras is already the country that annually spends the least on health per each citizen in Central America. $200 less than Belize, which spends $350 each year, and far from Costa Rica, that spends $1,000 annually per each citizen. The government keeps on investing in weapons, and they keep reducing the budgets of health and education. The government has no answer to explain the reduction of the budget. This year, the government reduced the budgets of the country's main hospitals, shutting down offices like the Center for Diabetes Patients. The affected patients also joined the protest. We are asking for proper medical attention, but the minister isn't helping us because she let go all of the doctors that were helping us, and now we don't receive any medicines. In the best cases, Honduran hospitals have less than 40 percent of what they need to operate, with most health centers having less than 20 percent of what they need. The government hasn't presented clear arguments on the reasons of the reduction or the options they will offer to the population. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America. And thanks again to Gerardo. Heavy